another episode of Balling With. Uh, we're still going down the line of teams today. Uh, we're finishing off. Uh, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, going to do their over or under games. And according to FanDuel this season, they have the Jacksonville Jaguars over uh, or at 10 wins at over nine and a half or under uh, 10 wins, guys. So let's hop right into the schedule. Um, they're going to be a pretty good team. I do think they're going to win their division, so they're going to go to the playoffs. Um, they should be the easiest division to win. going to be versus them versus the Titans. Just depends how they play and round it off. The Titans do have DeAndre Hawkins, FYI, and Derrick Henry. Uh, just their quarterback competition. So, And they are in the division, so we'll see how they can split a game. But let's hop right into the week one matchup versus Colts. So I just did the Colts on the last video. Uh, I do have the Jaguars win this game easy. I do have them on a couple parlays for week one as well. Week two, this is going to be a highlight game. They're going to be talking about this. This was the AFC championship game, I believe. Um, Chiefs should win this game. I do think Jaguars has the potential to win. Um, let's say Jaguars win this game. If they start off hot uh, with Calvin Ridley, um, got a lot of hype around them. They still have the uh, number one draft pick as well from uh, Walker. Uh, I forgot his first name, but uh, oh yeah, Trayvon Walker. He's definitely tough um, on the defensive side. So they're going to cause some problems for the Chiefs. Definitely going to be a high-scoring game. I would bet the over as well on this, over 45 points, I think. Uh, but let's say Jaguars, 2-0, start off the season. So the season 3-0 versus the Texans. I don't think they're going to lose to them. Uh, I don't think they're going to lose to the Atlanta Falcons either. They could start off the season 4-0. and Pretty good. Hot take. 4-0, 3-1, definitely are the possibilities. Um, but versus the Buffalo Bills, uh, it's going to be another great matchup. Um, Buffalo Bills are home. I think the Buffalo Bills take this matchup. Uh, and these ASC teams are all, you know, pretty stout. Um, they're all pretty good. This depends, like, a couple plays that's going to determine the game. Uh, I think Bills take this one. Uh, Jaguars fall to 4-1. I do think Jags uh, come back and pull the sweep against the Indianapolis Colts. 5-1 um, and one here versus the Saints. This will be another good matchup, man. Another good matchup depending on these two quarterbacks' plays. Uh, I do think the Saints pull this off, though. I think the Saints can pull this off. It depends how uh, – and this is just before the season starts. We'll see how this week goes and uh, how I change my mind or feel about it during that week. Um, so let's say they lose two games. They're 4-2. and two. Five and two at this point right here uh, versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's going to be another great matchup. Um, I do think the Jaguars can win this game. I don't see this, the Steelers winning this one. Um, depends how they play, though. Like I said, <clears throat> time possession, how that week is uh, played out and any injuries or anything of that matter. But I do have the Jags winning this uh, going to six and two, I believe. Versus the 49ers, I don't think they're going to win this game. They are home, though. 49ers should be pretty good. Brock Purdy is playing. Um, he looks, you know, pretty decent out there as long as they make the plays, running back plays and everything. Uh, you know, the Mike Shanahan offense. Um, or Kyle Shanahan's offense. Um, definitely an L right here, I think. So, I think that's 6-3. and Gonna be another good matchup, division game. Jaguars are home first versus Titans this season. Uh, I think the Jaguars pull this off and approve to seven and three. Uh, another easy game for them. Like I said they have an easy division, so eight and three here. It's gonna be another great matchup. Bengals versus Jags. I think Burrow is in here to play. They are home versus Jags. If they can win, the Jaguars will be looking nice. And I don't know though. Uh, I think Joe Burrow and Jabbar chasing them will win this game. Got them proven to eight and four, I believe. Where's the record? That's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep. So eight and four. Um, Browns, it's going to be a nice game. I do think they beat the Browns, but the Browns are home. The Browns need to win this game. They will play hard and play. But I think Jacks finish it off by at least six points. Um, improves to nine and four. Versus the Ravens now, I think they lose here. Lose here and improve the ten of nine and five, nine and five. Um, Ravens should be, you know, competing for something at that point in time. And I just think the Ravens are the better team overall. Uh, they're going to win this game easily. The last three games for the Jacksonville Jaguars should be easy for them. They have a pretty easy schedule. It looks like um, some games are very winnable. 
got a couple still games, but these are the tough games. Only tough games they have are Ravens, Bengals, I would say Titans again, but 49ers, Saints, Bills, and Chiefs. And that's about five, six games that I think they could lose. But they're not in whatever right here. These last three games, they should finish off strongly if they win there. This will be their 10th game. Bucks, the Panthers will be their 11th. So they're already winning right there. And they could finish 12. But I don't know if any team is going to win 12 or 13 games. Jaguars could be a, a, a surprise. They have Doug Peterson. Don't discredit them. Trevor Lawrence, they make those plays. I can don't discredit the Jacksonville Jaguars. Coming in hot from last year, finishing off strong, and they're definitely going to win 10 games this season. I do think they will win 10 games. Let's put that on the over. Uh, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on this video. We're going to finish off the next round of the clips. Uh, we have the Kansas City Chiefs next, and let's hop right on into it. Um, catch you guys on the next one.